All right. It says during the press conference. Um, this is on June 22nd, 2019. The Trump administration released the economic portion of the plan titled Peace to Prosperity. The political portion was released. Prosperity. Whose prosperity is going to be? Who's going to get the, the good end of the stick? Oh, man. Yup. It says the political portion was released in late January 2020. During the press conference announcing the plan, nothing, nothing not a Jew, <laughs> announced that the Israeli government would immediately annex the Jordan Valley and the West Bank settlements while committing not to create new settlements and areas left to the Palestinians for at least four years. U.S. Ambassador to Israel David M. Friedman claimed that the Trump administration had given permission for an immediate annexation stating that Israel does not have to wait at all and we will recognize it. See that? Wait, wait, that same article you're reading, they, read that again, they will not have to recognize it at all? Yeah, it says, uh, U.S. Wait. Ambassador to Israel, David M. Friedman, claimed that Trump administration had given permission for immediate annexation, stating that Israel does not have to wait at all and we will recognize it. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 2, and they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house even a man in his heritage now we all know that this scripture right here really it says remove not the ancient landmark but us being jerusalem is a people before it's a place right we were removed from um to the four corners of the earth but these devils don't belong there it's not their homeland but the point is that they cover fields and take it by violence all right they oppressed us all right, they took our homeland. If there's so much the people of the Most High, how many wars, Babu Kusha? Damn, man. Matter of fact, let me let me just bring this out right quick, God. Balfour. Let me just read the Balfour Declaration. It should pop up. Here we go. This is the Balfour Declaration. <laughs> the Declaration of Independence, huh? Hmm. Bugged out, man. Check this out. This the um, uh, by De dear Lord Rothschild, right? Um, I guess this was written to the British, if I'm not mistaken, Foreign Office, November 2nd, 1917, Salakia. I have much pleasure in conveying to you on behalf of His Majesty's government the following declaration of sympathy with Jewish Zionist aspirations. First of all, Zionist goes back to, uh, they believe, it, uh, they call themselves Jerusalem as if they're the holy separate from everybody. Zionist the what? Uh, they're not a monument. Monument of what? What are you representing? You don't even know the Lord's name. How can you represent the Lord if you don't even know his uh, real um, Hebrew name? All right. Aspirations, Zionist aspirations, which has not, which has been submitted to and approved by the cabinet. This majesty's government view with favor, British cabinet. Uh, this majesty's government view with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. Are they in Palestine? That's violation. Here we go. Um, and will use their, their first of all, Jewish ish suffix at the end of that word means to pertain to. You're not an Israelite. An Israeli, when you go to the online etymology of Israeli, all right, it means uh, somebody um, distinct or different from the ancient Is Israelites. All right, we ain't, we ain't got to get all that, but and we'll use their best endeavors. Oh man, endeavors to facilitate the achievement of this object. It being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing non Jewish communities in Palestine. Are you serious? You gotta so, read that again, huh? How many, oh man, how many wars did, were fought? How many year, year after year wars been fought in that land? I got a precept to add to you too. God, it being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of, of existing non-Jewish communities in Palestine or the rights and political stat, statue enjoyed by Jews in any other country. I should be grateful if you would bring this declaration to the knowledge of the Zionist Federation, but rights of existing non-Jewish communities in Palestine. And who wrote that? Did it say who wrote it? Uh, it, was, it was them sending it to Dear Rothschild. 
I believe to the, uh, the British, to the British cabinet. Oh, the British, the British was writing it. Oh no. I gotta look that up again. Uh, it to, uh, I gotta look that up. Don't worry about it. I, we'll look that up. It's no no big deal. Um, created location British Library author Walt Walter Rothschild, Arthur Balfour, Leo Emery. They wrote it to the British oh, cabinet. Arthur Balfour. Yeah, they That's wrote right, it to okay. the British cabinet. Decoration. I, I think I mentioned it too when I was reading though. But so like y'all, okay, no, uh, it's slipping. It's, it's all good. Part of being in this flesh. Yep, this is Psalms 10 and 3. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhors. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Bring, yeah, go ahead. You got it. Yeah, so that, you know, it's basically uh, Esau's boasting of his heart's desire, man. And, and blessed the covetous, man. Here it is. It is. It's clear that even in the Balfour Declaration, told you that it's not his, but he's saying, you know, hey, he's going to Esau. All right, the, the elites that be. That's how he show you shows you that this is a, what they call an esoteric uh, a government, meaning right. it's ruled by a particular group of people. All right, because everything that these men say goes aristocratic. Aristocratic. Uh, I think uh, mm. uh, aristocratic. I believe it's uh, aristocratic. Higher government uh, ruled by a uh, specific people. Right. If I said that right, but Salak here. Um, yeah, and also too, um, to make mention, you got uh, what you call the Philistine Jews, them Cushites, them Hamites, that are being gunned down by Esau in that land. And they're not even Israelites. So wait a moment. You're not showing no harm to know where in the kingdom are we going to have guns? I want to know. Damn sure ain't this place. I mean, Salaki, damn sure ain't the kingdom because it is, it's, it's here. It's in this damn place of judgment on this earth right here. This all, all it is, is nothing but bloodshed and violence. Yep. The Lord going to set us up, man. The Lord said what? Wait ye upon me until I uh, gather the nations, man. Right. Not so no not, damn baffled decoration. All right, yeah. Salaki. It says the Trump administration clarified that no such green light had been given. Uh, Salaki, the Lukit, the Likud spokesman tweeted that Israeli sovereignty over settlements will be declared on the following Sunday. The Trump administration clarified that no such green light had been given. No decision would take place before new elections and a new government had been formed. Critics of the plan, including all the leading Democratic presidential candidates, have denounced it. Have denounced it. Salaki, critics of the plan including all the leading Democratic presidential candidates, have denounced it as a smokescreen for annexation. Right. You know what? Well, annexation. Bible can shout, matter of fact, I'll look it up. Annex. I believe it means removal. Uh, here we go. Man, Bill, Bill, providing additional annex, annex to annex a pen or add as an extra subordinate part, especially... Read that again. So, As, uh, critics of the plan, including all the leading Democratic presidential candidates, have denounced it as a smokescreen for annexation. Oh, OK. It says uh, a citation right next to it. Opinion. Trump Israel Palestine deal has always been a fraud. Uh, January 28th, 2020. Oh, to add. It always looked like a smokescreen to mask the burial of the two-state solution. Oh, that means to add Salaki, yep. The annexation? Yeah. It says, uh, it always looked like a smokescreen to mask the burial of the two-state solution, an independent Palestinian state on the occupied West Bank and in in Gaza with Arab East Jerusalem as its capital, living in peace alongside Israel. <laughs> but it says, uh, proposed benefits to the Palestinians from the plan are contingent on the list of conditions that have been denounced by opponents of the plan as impossible or fantastic. Meaning there's never going to be right. no peace in that exactly. land. Right, because both of those people and uh, uh, nations of people living there, okay, what you got, of course, you got the Hamites too, you got them Kushites being gunned down by police brutality by them um, Israeli police. All right, so they don't belong there neither. None of those people. The scripture saying Joel chapter three, they have part of the Lord's land. All right, sold a boy for a, a, a boy for a harlot and a girl for wine. All right, so none of those people belong in that land. 
All right. Right. So it's, it's, it's really it's just the order. You know, it's basically that so-called peace plan is Trump setting out an order. Look, uh, you're going to stop warring. Israel got the uh, Israel. This is Israel's land. And that's it. That's basically what he's saying. But that's what he wants. He wants to. And it also, too, when you go look up annexation, it means to add the, the lesser to the greater. Right. To add the lesser because Palestine don't have as much land in Israel as in Jerusalem. It's just like right mm, in Pat. They okay. uh, consider it to be the capital over there. I believe it is like right in there. You know, say so that's why they always fight for it. Oh, who's uh, Jerusalem belongs to them? And they that none of those people are holy. None of those people belong there. No. Right. So, Baba Kusha, um, you got more in that? No, nah, that's it. I want to just finish off with this right here that I was reading um before. Yeah, then we can end it up. Yeah, kind of uh, the um, facts of facts by Benjamin H. Friedman in 1954, in October 10th, published in October 10th. All right, as Act Two was World War Two. Act three is going to be World War Three. That's how this, go, this place is going to be taken out by nuclear ICBM fire. All right. The Jews of the world, meaning those Kaisars, those Amalekites, those fake Jews, the Zionists and their co-religionists everywhere. All right. They're co religious Those that have the same like mind as them. All right. Those, those co-religionists everywhere. And Donald Trump is one of them. All right. Wasn't he playing on the Western Wall or something like that mm -hmm. or whatever? And that addition was built, that additional wall was built by Herod the Great. All right. And the, are determined, the Zionists and their co-religionists everywhere are determined that they are going to again use the United States to help them permanently retain Palestine. Okay. As their foothold for their world government. Come on, man. Come on, it's it's look, man. This book was published in 1954. The Wadi Abbas, I was shot for allowing these devils to print stuff like this on a printing press. We appreciate that very much. You know what I'm saying? We love it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The Lord got you damn devils in the trick bag. All right. And going into it, it goes even to uh President Withrow 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 Wilson. What's his name? Uh Withrow Wilson. Yeah, oh yeah, that article you had? Of Withrow Wilson. Oh, going into President Woodrow Wilson. And this, um. Then we can end it out just a little bit more. Huh? Yep, this goes into, uh, because President Woodrow Wilson was a president between 1913 and, um. 19, uh, yeah. 1917, um, 1918. Yeah, but. During the time no, Woodrow 19, Wilson, 13, 1917, uh, whatever, yeah, so yeah. Like four year term, whatever, so like the yeah, Federal Reserve was um was created, in which you know kind of he was with it because he wanted to be um you know he wanted to uh, receive the the votes from these senators at the time, but after it all after everything came to pass, he understood, you know that he he basically fucked fucked over the Americans, all right. So it says, I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. A great and he say unwittingly, you know, because that's a presidential thing to say, but he knew what the hell he was doing. Yep. A great industrial nation is now controlled by a system of credit. We are no longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, you know, because originally this place was supposed to be uh, run by the people, a democracy. But really, it's a Republican uh, state, man. You know, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinions and the rest of a small group of dominant men. And this goes back to what the brother had read about the Balfour Declaration, man. You ain't doing nothing without the blessings of the uh, Rothschilds. And, and, and check this out, too. I'm going to read from page 17, page 17. From, of course, the same book, Facts of Facts. Let's just start over. Oh, man. It's talking about Woodrow Wilson, by the way. Matter of fact, let me just read from here. What are we going to do? The life you save may be your sons. Your boys may be on their way to, to that war tonight. And you don't know it any more than you knew that in 1916 in London, the Zionists made a deal with the British War Cabinet to send your sons to war in Europe. Which they did. 
Did you know it at, at that time? Not a person in the United States knew it. You, were, you weren't permitted to know it. Who knew it? President Wilson knew it. President Wilson knew it. Col Colonel House knew it. Other insiders knew it. Did I know it? I had a pretty good idea of what was going on. I was liaison to Henry Morgenthau Sr. Morgenthau Sr. in the 1912 campaign when President Wilson was elected. The campaign when President Wilson was elected. And there, when was he elected? Whatever. 1913. 13. And there was talk around the office there. I was confidential man to Henry Morgenthau Sr. This dude was in there. This Benjamin H. Friedman, he was in there who was chairman of the finance committee. And I was lacing between him and Rollo Wells, the treasurer. So I sat in these meetings with President Wilson at the head of the table and all the others. And I heard them drum into President Wilson's brain, the graduated income tax and what has become the Federal Reserve, like you were uh, right. explaining earlier about the, the taxes. Um, and I heard them indoctrinate him with the Zionist movement. So they got, the Zionists got uh, <laughs> this damn president, this Edomite, to agree with their policies. You know what I'm saying? And he went right along with it. You know? And Right, which basically, in a nutshell, their movement is to enslave the people, all right, and give the power to the top 1%. That's really what it is, man. You know, that's, that's from the unlawful, the surf, yeah. you know, yep, from, because even in this, uh, this, uh, uh, article, I mean, or this video called All Wars of Bankers Wars, all right, you have unlawful, uh, 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 decrees that Esau knows damn well that's wicked as hell, like this income tax, like the brothers going into, you're not supposed to be taxing the people. That's not even the law, all right? You even have other, um, documentaries that, uh, this guy Aaron Russo made oh, called, man. um, uh, From Freedom to Fascism, man. You know, nobody, you know, you had top politicians, IRS people, nobody can find a clause in the Constitution. The IRS. All right. That says that you have to pay taxes, man. Nope. Because it's not in there. It's not in there. It's not in there. You know, but this is Esau. Yep. All right. The devil. Yep. All right. That, hey, that's the way he moves. He save the people and give the power to the uh, to the rich, man. And, and check this out. out. Justice Brandeis, I'm not going to go into all these people's names, but just reading. Justice Brandeis and President Wilson were just as close as the two fingers on this hand. President Woodrow Wilson, oh, there it goes. Woodrow Wilson was just as incompet, com, incompetent, incompetent, so like it, incompetent when it came to determining what was going on as a newborn baby. Going to show you that, <laughs> going to show you that uh, presidents don't know a damn thing, man. They just, they just out there you know what i'm saying they, they puppets man that that is like how the headlights con that is how they got us into world <laughs> war one exactly Why, oh, while man. we slept micah two and two uh two and one or it's, unless they do mischief exactly and, because oh that's in i think job and there's another one in micah two and one i was reading verse two before when they came when they came up with the uh the federal uh reserve act it was during what? It was during Christmas, and they knew a lot of senators wouldn't be there. All right, so they did some uh, backdoor dirty, deals, man, to, get, dirty, it, to man. get it done, man. Dirty, man. Oh, you know? man. Ch check this out. While we all slept, that's how they got World War I, all right, to use America to, to, to aid them. Then they sent our boys over there to be slaughtered. For what? So the Jews can have Palestine as their commonwealth. They fooled you so much that you don't even know that you don't know whether you're coming or going. Wow. Now, any judge, when he charges a jury, says, gentlemen, any witness who you find has told a single lie, you can disregard all his testimony. I don't know what state you come from, but in New York state, that is the way a judge addresses a jury. If that witness told one lie, Disregard his testimony, meaning these devils done told many lies. How could you believe him? When you speak it fairly, believe him believe not. Ain't not. No That's peace. fair. I was just thinking that. When you speak it fairly, believe him. Matter of fact, not. we can end it with that. Uh, you, yeah, you can end it off. It's uh, uh -huh. Proverbs 26 and 25. You can end it off with that. Oh, yeah. Proverbs 26 and 25. When you speak it fairly, believe it not. 
for there are seven abominations in his heart. Now we know that seven is a number of completion. Mm -hmm. Whose hatred is, co is covered by deceit. Whose hatred is covered by deceit. So wait, wait, wait. It's not peace though. Nah, it's deceit. It's, it's really, uh, 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 you know, it's really death. God. His wickedness shall be shrewd before the whole congregation. Right, and the whole world is seeing your wickedness. All right? Mm -hmm. Really, uh, there's nothing here that should not be... Um, uh, revealed all right and the scriptures say too and um if you could um now we can end it off with that but isaiah 29 and um 15 you can't hide nothing from the lord man and the scriptures tell you too he that planted the ear shall he not hear he that planted the eye shall he not see so all you're doing is fooling yourself you ain't fooling the most high you ain't fooling the prophets right and right? first thessalonians said um that uh, the wicked shall be revealed by the yep it says who's hatred because this is how this is how this place is going to go down, man. Esau has to be revealed for the wicked mother effer he is, man. Yep. You know? Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. I mean, it's going to crush you. All right? You dug a pit, you're going to fall into it. You roll back a stone, that stone going to pursue you and it's going to crush you. Right. Really, you know what a real stone is? This great millstone. All right, we're going to grind you. We ain't going to grind no wheat. All right, but you chaff, we're going to grind the chaff. How about that? They blow away. We recover them, we grab them back, and we mm -hmm. grind the ass on that great millstone, yep. man. Only a great millstone, you're going to get the truth, man. All right? <laughs> a lion tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it. Damn. And they Read flattering. That again. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth. Worketh ruin. Ain't no peace in Palestine. All these years, all of a sudden, it's going to be a peaceful solution. You know how he talks. There's going to be a peaceful solution here. We got the perfect, perfect strategy of bringing everyone together. <laughs> you devils are something else, man. Hey, hey, act three. Hey, act, hey, the curtain's about to close on act three, man. That's what it says. You the know? curtain's going to close, meaning the, gate, the, the, the show is over. When that World War Three takes place, you de you devils are done. You gonna be that what that? I was watching this video. You might, on, you might as well bow out. I was watching this video on YouTube with a cha uh, like uh, Edomites, old ass Edomites running that on a racetrack. Uh -huh. They're gonna be that <laughs> chase road. They're gonna be fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Yeah, come now. Yep. You um, know. Hey man, so Lord willing, you all can edify. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom, my people.